off of the donut there. And it actually has some details on the inside as well, which I thought is really cool. So we have a little display napkin for our big one and a little display napkin for our little one. Hey everybody, Kevin here, and today I have the Daiso Petit Block Chocolate Donut. And this is the fourth kit in the food series and is number 45 of the mini block set. So let's go ahead and take a look at this yummy looking chocolate donut. All right, everybody, so here is the chocolate donut. Now, one thing that I noticed is that right here, we can see that the bricks on, especially the chocolate, are a little bit darker. Now, as you can see on the picture here, it's more of a lighter brown than I noticed down here. It says, photograph is for illustrative purposes only. So it looks like this might turn out a little bit like the tank where the colors are a little bit off, but we'll see how it turns out. So far, it looks like that is gonna be a really cool end product. And this is recommended for ages 12 and up. And if you haven't seen any of my petite block videos yet, or if you're new here, basically what petite block is, it's almost like a Lego. But if you think of Lego, think of nano block. Now nano block is a very tiny little building brick piece. They're a little bit more sophisticated than Legos. As you can see, we have a little two by three here. It's pretty much just the size of my finger, whereas a regular Lego two by three would be very thick and very tall. And Petite Block is just Daiso's version of Nano Block. So it's kind of a version of a version of a version. Uh, so it's pretty much just very compatible with Nano Block. And also, as we can see here, it comes in a little bag. And there's the back. And let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Okay, so in the bag, what we get is our instructions. Go ahead and take a look at our instructions. Okay. All right, so here we have our list of pieces here and all as well as our instructions. And it looks like we can finish this in about five steps and the sixth step is just to show that we're finished. And one thing cool, here is that I think they're starting to do this with a lot of their newer kits but as we can see here it looks like on the package we have a little piece of paper that says chocolate donut to put your donut on there and it looks like you're supposed to cut that out to have a little napkin for a donut which I think is really cool that's a really cool idea I really like to see those types of stuff so let's see it looks like we have chocolate donuts and on the back side we just have more of the pattern that's very unique I like it all right, so let's go ahead and pour out our blocks and we'll get building. All right, everybody, so I have finished the chocolate donut, and I gotta say, it turned out really great. It was fun and easy to build, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details here and make sure that this is ready to serve and to eat. Okay, guys, so here is the chocolate donut. Now, one thing that I thought was really cool was that just a simple two of these one by four studs here that are clear, it allows the donut to be lifted off and looks like it can display all of the chocolate and the sprinkles there, so as you can see, it's kind of facing towards you, then flat on the ground. And so if you go to the back, you'll see that it's just kind of floating like that. And one thing that I really like about this is the structure of the donut here and the chocolate placement. 
Now the structure of this is that it kind of shows up like a UFO disc shape or just over here. And also the chocolate here. I really like what they did. Definitely if I were designing this, I'd be like, okay, I need to somehow make it look like actual chocolate where I'd probably just lay a bunch of bricks on top. But I really like that they incorporated it to make it look like it's flowing off of the donut there. And it actually has some details on the inside as well, which I thought is really cool. And one thing as well is that the sprinkles placement here is really nice. Now, one criticism I have about this is that they could have used maybe more colors for the sprinkles, maybe like an orange or a blue. I think that would really complement it very well. But it still looks really amazing with just the yellow and the pink sprinkles. That's just the only criticism I have is that they should have gave you, or they shouldn't have, they should have suggested to you that there's two different types of building functions where you can either have yellow and pink or you can have like a multicolor, which would be really cool and they should really implement that into some of their future kits, almost like Legos where you can, you know, choose, I think it's almost in like their three-in-one creator kits where you can choose which one to build. And so that would be really cool if they incorporated that with these little petite blocks here. Now, as you saw in the end, I started to move some of our spare pieces away. Now, they only gave us a small amount of spare pieces. Now, if you know from my previous videos on these petite blocks, I always like to create a little baby miniature version of them or some sort of accessories. So here we go. Here is our little donut here. Now, I gotta say, it was a real tough challenge to try to make this look like a donut with a donut hole in there. But as you can see, we have two little baby sprinkles. We have a chocolate and a vanilla part. So this one, I try to make it look like a two type of, what do you call it? Two type of donut. So the comparison here, here we have a vanilla flavored donut with a chocolate frosting. And this one here is just a two different types of dough with sprinkles. So here's our baby little one. And now one thing that we're gonna do is that, as I showed in the beginning of the video, with our instructions here, we have our little mat here that we can cut out. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out our mats for our big one here. And I decided that I think I'm gonna want to cut out a little mat right here that just says petite block. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. All right, so it looks like we're just supposed to follow the line here. And there we have it. Okay, so we have our napkin here ready for our big donuts. And now it was a little bit time consuming to cut out these little triangles here. But in the end, it actually looks like a real sort of little napkin that you'd serve up with the donut. And for our little miniature donut here, I'm just gonna cut out this little block that says petite block there, because it looks like about the size for our little miniature one. So here we have our little snack that can go on our petite block napkin and here is just some of the details of the napkin here it just says chocolate donuts and on the bottom it just is like mini size blocks for you to assemble so it's a little bit hard to read through the camera and here's the back side it's just the same little napkin print and we can go ahead and place our donut down boom there we go and look how cute that looks together this is a really cool idea that I think they should implement with a lot more. I really like to see the creativity here. It's amazing that we have a little display napkin for our big one and a little display napkin for our little one. I'd say that's really good. And now these look ready to be served up. Now, if we just show the back here, just a little bit elevated, but we have that little crinkle there, which really adds a lot of cool detail to it. And man, this is a really cool set. I really love it. All right, everybody. So I got to say that donut looked really cool when it was served. And I think a lot of people are going to want to buy this donut. Disclaimer, do not eat these. You'll choke on them. No, no, don't eat these. Or any type of building block at all. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. I definitely do recommend these for beginners as it is a very beginner friendly kit. Very easy to build and very fun. Only took me a little bit amount of time. And overall, it's a really great kit. I like how it's designed. And so I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Hope you guys give me a like if you enjoyed this. And also if you're new here, it would be appreciated if you drop a subscribe for more videos like these. So have a good day guys and thanks for watching. Bye.